And now for our feature presentation. Sam Raimi is back in the director's chair again, making another superhero movie after the critically acclaimed Spider-Man 3. I'm going to start this review with non-spoilers, but at some point I'm going to get into heavy spoilers. Just don't click off yet. I'll let you guys know when we get there. Without a doubt, you can see Sam Raimi's presence in the directing style of this film. The cinematography is absolutely great, and it gives the movie a different flair from the previous movies, and to be honest, the rest of the MCU. I know Sam Raimi has directed some horror movies, and there are some horror elements in this film. There are some effective jump scares. The camera work during the horror scenes is executed greatly. I wish we got more of that spooky shit, because that's when the movie movie works really great. This is by far the bloodiest MCU movie ever. I mean, it ain't no Last of Us Part 2, but there's some blood, trust me. <laughs> and the movie does get pretty dark. It's probably the darkest MCU film. Kids will be scared, there's a lot of witchcraft, but if you have sensitive folks, you might just want to go watch Morbius. Uh, a much better movie, I must say. No. Wanda is obviously the villain in this installment, and I really like how it switches back from Steven and Wanda, and it gives the story some kind of Sonic Adventure 2 vibes, you know, where you can switch from the hero story and the villain story. By the way, Elizabeth Olsen is really great as Wanda here. She's extremely terrifying in some scenes when it deals with horror stuff. This movie introduced me to America, and honestly, I really like her character in this movie. She had me very intrigued the whole time. The trippy sequences are as equally good as the first Doctor Strange movie, and I got to see this movie in 3D and honestly it's a good movie to watch in 3D I'm not gonna lie now I will say this movie was definitely overhyped to the point where at the end of the day this movie felt a little underwhelming it has a big scale but I think we all expected this to be a lot bigger than it was because bigger is better they're the same picture I really enjoyed this movie a lot more than the original. In fact, in my review of the first movie, I gave it an 8 out of 10, but I realize now I was too generous. It's more like an IGN 6.9 out of 10. It really made me feel like Dormammu. The horror movie elements absolutely elevate Doctor Strange, the multiverse of madness. It's a good, solid inclusion in the MCU, but I think it might have been a little bit overhyped, and it causes the film to be underwhelming in the end. For anyone who hasn't seen Doctor Strange in the multiverse of madness, you can get out now, because we're about to talk some spoilers. I'm gonna play this clip of my friends reacting to the ending of Morbius and by the time it ends hopefully everybody who hasn't seen this movie has gotten out. <laughs> I'm sorry, she's European. The Office is one of, if not, my favorite show of all time. Seeing John Krasinski as Mr. Fantastic himself made me want to scream. I just hate how he died at the end, along with the others. I mean, I guess he should have stayed at the office. The best battle of the whole entire movie was when Doctor Strange was fighting the evil version of himself and they were using melodies. That was really creative and cool. One thing that really turned me off from this movie was the ending. It just felt like it came out of nowhere and stopped at a halt, and it just didn't flow well within the story. Every time Wanda kills somebody, it's extremely frightening, but also pretty badass. Like when she snapped Charles Xavier's neck, that, that had my mouth on the floor. Honestly, her death didn't have that much of an impact because I have a feeling that she's going to be brought back. Marvel loves bringing back dead characters, but if she does turn out to be dead, I'm, I'm probably going to go cry. Doctor Strange taking over that corpse was unexpected and really twisted, but I love how creepy and weird the movie got with it. Sam Raimi did a really great job directing this movie. Alright, well that was my review. If y'all guys have seen the movie, I hope y'all enjoyed it, and if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. It's a great solid inclusion in the MCU. It's a movie that shouldn't be missed if you love Marvel. <laughs>